Oops, missed it. What's up, guys? d and stuff's here. I was uh, working on this piece of terrain, and I thought, why not show you guys my painting process? Because I have no idea how to paint. So, you know, I try to watch tutorials, and the guys, like, people on YouTube, they do these painting tutorials that are like, crazy, crazy good. And it never works for me, so I figured I might as well just try my own way then. Uh, I've been working on this little like you know sacrificial altar hill type of thing and there's gonna be a stone path here in the dirt and up here it's super hard to see you can see the the, the spots where i'm gonna paint so that's what i'm working for uh, on first it's gonna be all these stone parts so i figured i could do this like a stone painting tutorial so you can learn from my mistakes so i'm gonna paint some of these up first of all with just a pewter gray acrylic uh i'm just touching some random ones here and there and i'm gonna come back around and do some other ones with different colors all right so as you can see all i did was with the pewter gray just went and did a bunch of random ones and now i'm gonna go in with the country gray here and get the rest of them also i just dry brushed this with that same dark gray that we used in the beginning and now it's time for the I agree. All right. <clears throat> wow. Don't know what that was. Uh, as you can see now, light and gray is all I've used. Oh, sorry. Wow, that makes no sense. Light gray and dark gray. And this is kind of what it is. This one I did first, all of it dark gray, and then dry brush it again, all of it light gray. This is kind of how it's looking right now. You can get an idea of a little path going up there. This whole sandy texture is going to be all brown. Or the ground and then the shinier parts of the stones the rocks uh i haven't really figured out what the next step is gonna be so let me think about it real fast i'm tempted to use some of these brown beige colors just water it down and throw it over some parts and then black wash it on top that could work let's try that i'll be right back I'm going to get these two paints. It's a territorial beige and light mocha. And I'm gonna water them down and throw them over random stones that are already painted and see, see how it looks. So I'll be right back. All right. <clears throat> also, if I sound a little off, it's because I'm sick. Um. I mainly use this one. I don't really use that one. I use, it's the darker tone, territorial beige. That's the one I used on all of them. Some of them you can't really tell I painted, and others I painted heavier. But they're all pretty water, watered down. And uh, I left the main a stone bed thing up there alone. I think that's pretty good, just like that. Because if I like how this looks, once I do the next ba uh, the next coat of like a dark wash, black wash, then I'll see if I want to do this one like that. If not, then I'll try this one a different way. And I'll show you guys. Uh, so yeah, dark wash is next. Let me go get some stuff for that. Alright, black wash. Just a um, little bit of soap, water, and black paint. Uh, I'm not even sure it matters how much soap or how much paint and water, but I kind of just did it it's pretty watery. I would always, I, I would think it'd be better to do a more watery than a, uh, than a, uh, how do I say this? When you make your wash, make sure it has more water than paint. Because you could always do another coat in case it's like, if it's just too thin, but it was too thick, you're, you're fucked. You see, like, mine is pretty, getting on there pretty thick. I'm not liking it. I'm going to take some off. I put way too much up here, so I'm just going to take it off with the paper towel. And I actually, that worked pretty well. Yeah, look at that. I put way too much. All right, let's keep going. All right, so it's all dried up now. As you can see, it looks... 
I guess good enough. <laughs> I like it. I always do that. So I'm gonna go to the next step. That will be painting all the dirt around this uh, and around this. So I think what I want to do is I'm gonna go and carefully paint around every edge and all around the sides and in between the stones all the brown and i'm going to use this uh nutmeg brown so i will be back when it's all painted well let me paint a little bit on camera see i'm not even gonna I'm going for full coverage because we're still going to dry brush on top of this and it'll look it look better at the end. I'm really going to put like some heavy, heavy coat of this, this one. Damn, my uh, this is dying. Anyway, it's all nice and dry now. You can really, you could tell that I didn't really do one flat coat of paint. Some cereal over there. Uh, and that's because I'm still going to flock it and do the next step, which is going to be high, a, I guess like a highlight it's called. A dry brush of this uh, beige color, which the name, light mocha again. Uh, like every dry brush, you got to make sure it's not too, too much paint on you. Yeah, I'm gonna go over it lightly. I'm just gonna go over not every every brown part but most of them for sure now just bring out the little individual rocks i'm by no means an expert at painting so if you guys if i say a term wrong or anything be make, make sure to correct me because i would like to learn i love learning new stuff effect I'm going for so I'm gonna finish up the pathway and around that thing and I'll be right back all right so that's how it's looking I uh not too happy with it it looks too bright so I'm gonna go try to go another round of dry brushing with that same dark brown we started with and then I'll see how that looks I'll be right back so sorry about the steady that uh, that is how it's looking now. I went and just, well, except this piece, but it's pretty easy. I went and dry brushed every piece of rock with whatever paint I had left, just so I could have some different color. I figure that looks good enough. Um, all these different tones of color. I don't need to go over this piece. But after I touch up just a little bit of the dirt colors, I'm gonna start on the rocks. And for the rocks, I'm thinking now uh, it's gonna be straight dry brushing. I'll leave most most of it dark like that. But yeah, we'll get to that when we get to that. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm liking how this is coming out so far. I'm just gonna leave it like that. I still need to flock over all this, so I guess the color doesn't matter much. But I'm happy with it. Um, we use the same paints we've been using, so this dark and. I think I do. I do the dark gray first on the rocks as a dry brush. Say like this piece right here. I'm not even gonna clean the brush. I'll leave all that brown from the last dry brushes on. And 
I'm just gonna go to town. Not really worrying too much about where the paint gets. Uh, the messier, the more natural it looks, so don't matter. All right, looks good. Let me uh, do the rest of the piece and I'll be right back. All right, coming along, coming along. It's uh, looking better now that I got the gray. I dry brushed it with a lot, pretty heavy paint. And the next coat will be the lighter gray, but it's gonna be a lot less on the brush when I dry brush it. Yeah, I like I like it. It's going it's got coming along pretty all right. Little path is starting to show more. And bam, the lighter grays on there. And I think I mean it looks like it's if I could do like a highlight like an it maybe highlight the edges with the with the beige color or the tan color maybe it'll look better let's try it out let me see I started with this side so that should be dry get some of this color here the mocha that's what it's called take most of it off all right so that's let me see most of it is off I'm just gonna go real quick try to get all these Little, little details there. I like that. Looks alright. Alright, I'm gonna do that for the whole sides. And I'll be back. Well, all in all, uh, I'm pretty happy with it. All I need to do is figure out how I want to do the flock, if I want to cover all of it or patches. I'm using this one here. Grass green, it's like a, it's not really, it's not static grass, it's a, it's more like a powder, I guess. You see, it's not, it's not grassy, but it's like tiny little clump chunks. Not clumps, but, uh. I don't know how to explain this. I guess it's shorter clippings. Um, I need to figure out what I want to do for the man. I lost the word. Yeah, I'm not too sure what how I want to flock this, but at least I got all the paint stuff out of the way. I'll uh, I'll do a flocking in a separate video. But for the painting part, there it is. I mean, from all black to this mess. But yeah, I think it looks pretty good. I like the the walkway here is one of my favorite pieces parts. The the road here, I'm not too big a fan of. I should have done different colors for the middle, so it looks more ran through. But that's pretty good. I like how the stones came out looking for this thing. I should have done it on this one, but I mean. It's cool. It looks good anyway. I use minis that look more cartoonish anyway, so I'm not really going for too much realis realism. That was my first time working with plaster rocks, so I kind of just wanted to do something. And this is going to be kind of just a little display piece. I do not like these, these uh, strafes there, so I'll probably put some grass up there. But yeah, I mean, all in all, it looks pretty good. I think it looks pretty all right. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, yeah, that's really it. All the colors you need is just those five right there. It doesn't specifically have to be the names, like Meg Brown. You could just, you know, get three shades of brown and two shades of gray. And you can do this little muddy, muddy hill. But yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Catch you later. Say goodbye, Cereal. He says goodbye. All right, so I was gonna do flocking in a separate video, but it was so easy and fast that I just gonna attach it to the end of this one. All you gotta do is put the glue where you want it, spread it around with a brush. There we go, sorry. Shut down for a sec. You move it around with the brush and then throw your flock on. 
And this is kind of the, how I threw it on, just random all over the place. Yeah, very happy with how this thing came out at the end. Pretty cool little uh, display piece. Yeah, guys, thanks for watching.